Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where you kind of get the sense that we're in like the, the calm before the storm. Well, these buffalo don't think so anymore. We brought the storm to them. <laughs> in between last episode and this, another herd showed up right over here. So rather than <clears throat> take you through the same thing we did last time, I went ahead and just got that done in between episodes. And actually, it, it, it feels like it's the middle of the night, but an eclipse landed in between episodes too, so it's it's ten in the morning. Like they're all gonna go joy or something on me right now and oh good, we got power. We need full power or full wind right now because we've got no solar coming in, which means our second bank is is uh, depleting really fast here. So we're running out six powered generators and six wind generators right now and that is it. And with that we're running just one heat lamp or sun lamp over here. That is not the right one. Try this one. 92. That one is live, right? Yeah, that's live. So we're holding even. Oh, good. That's good to see. So three winds and three of these, these other alternate generators over here. They're able to maintain us dead even. Okay. Did get the right ones, right? How many times have I clicked on a bank of batteries that weren't even connected and say, hey, it's not moving? <laughs> Um, this right here bugs me. When this goes in and this gets torn out, I'm thinking this guy is going to get, let's see there, reversed and, I don't know, something along these lines over here. We'll see. We have some rich soil over there. I'd love to get back. We'll put that there because we were desperate for power and that was the spot that was available at the time. Um, one other thing that happened last night. Let's see if Cesar's is still up here. I missed her. Darn. She was... Over here, I got her up here to work on the uh, on the compact machinery, and because we really need components right now, and she was just tapping away on that. I kept hearing this, and I thought, what? And there's another herd over here. We got lots of buffalo in the area. What I love about buffalo is one butcher job dumps a whole bunch of meat into the into the meat locker. Look at all those. Oh, that's a good. Good thing to have in your meat locker. Of course, now we'll get a herd coming through. But what we haven't had through yet is, Faith, what you doing? Sewing. Can you clean for me? You can. What we haven't had through yet is a raid. I mean, we, we just, you know, kidnapped these guys, and nobody has arrived yet. Um, world. How far away are we? Seems like we're about a week away from the nearest of the Erythotnas, the purple faction. I'm stalling here, waiting for this generating planet to get done. There we go. <laughs> These guys right here. The Erythotna People's Federation. Drunkard's Cliff. Or, I think there's another one. Yeah. Right up here, Mercy's Crag. So, it'd be great if the game would realistically send a group from here through to land here, but I guess they'd have to bring Muffalo and the whole works to simulate that. I guess you could load up just meals onto your people and send them off. You can hold a, a good stack of them. Maybe. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I, I don't remember what day it was when we did this. I'm thinking it was like the end of winter or the first of, of spring. So it's been a little while. We'll see when we finally do get a raid coming in and if it's from them. Or if the game is not going to be realistic in that sense, and just send them a send us a random event with a random enemy fil fulfilling that event, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm really expecting that uh, a raid from those that one group to come at us soon. Anyway, um, what to do right now? Let's let's see what everyone's up to. Uh, we've been doing a lot of sewing. In fact, that's one thing that I did through the night. Cathra has gotten out of there. Rabbit, Sangria, they've all escaped. Rabbit, ah, he's still here. Oh, but he stayed. Okay, he stayed on his own. I assigned the Devil Strand to them specifically. In fact, Rabbit, I did, basically what I did was... we miss anything in here? No, so basically I just went through this area very patiently and said can you please just fill in all of these whenever you hit a tree the whole area is not available I can click on this all I want it won't work 
So I gotta get down into here before I can start sewing again. So he needs to take that tree out. But just telling him very specifically, we want this group done. In fact, if I do that, then we'll get these boulders moved too. Um, sure, pop into here. Hope you don't have to eat anytime soon. Yeah, we'll go with that for now, especially, you know, the rich soil. Um, needs, yeah, you're going to need to eat soon, but you'll be okay for that amount. You're a fast uh, sower. So, otherwise, we got over into here and got this done, that done over there. Um, it was Cathra and Rabbit that were doing this area. Okay, and that's good soil there, too. we got to get back into that. Alicia started a social fight with Manuela. Reason? Insulted. I was planting this area. You always get the rich soil. Uh-uh. It's mine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we got to see this. Um, let's see. We still have her shooting at the muffalo. So let's go to Manuela, who wasn't part of that. So in there. Let's see. You're down here. You're this one. Combat. There we go. Manuela attempted to smash Alicia, but hesitated at the last second because... Manuela insulted Alicia. This drove Alicia into a rage and she began a fight. Alicia struck Manuela in the tor- Manuela, you picked a fight with Darth Vader slash Ninja Girl. This wasn't the wisest decision, okay? Just saying. Yeah, you're gonna... Mm. Manuela hit Alicia with a smash with her right fist, lacerating her left leg while smirking. Well, okay. You got through the armor. I'm impressed. Alicia struck Manuela in the right leg. Oh, Manuela smashed Alicia with her forceful left fish. Okay, I'm thinking Manuela is a little more... Yeah, melee of three. Alicia, melee of nine. Huh. But you've got, you've got your shield belt, shield belt out. Mm-hmm. Um... Lacerating a torso and spine while wearing a blank look. No, 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 no spine and brain stuff, okay? Alicia hit Manuela with a smash from her right fist, smashing her torso while laughing. Manuela flailed. <laughs> Alicia smashed Manuela in the torso. Manuela tried to strike Alicia with her right fist. Alicia s missed while trying to strike Manuela. Manuela clobbered Alicia with her right fist, bruising her right fourth toe fourth toe while wearing a loyal look <laughs> alicia smashed manuel in the left leg while wearing a savage look manuela hit alicia with a bash from her left fist lacerating the right leg while wearing a savage look alicia tried to smash manuela with her right or her left fist and they are no longer fighting nobody went down okay that's kind of nice but you kind of wiped out my use for you guys to you know work on uh, um, planting today so Manuela besides the the right pinky and nose that were already gone got a got a bruise crack bruise bruise crack did get a crack to the spine though and then Alicia through your power armor you managed to get a bruise crack bruise bruise to the torso and spine also right and left leg Okay, well, yeah, you guys go ahead and, you know, take the day off. Yes, you, you just wanted a vacation, I know. Uh, where were we? Eric, what you up to? I've got you hauling granite blocks. I asked you to tear this down. Let's get that going. And I asked you to get power into this area so we can finally get the lights on. Um, you are... Actually, let's get you to do this right now. Do that and that. Good. Pick that up. Oh, oh, oh. Slaver from a court of Munio. Okay, well, it wasn't a, uh, a war coming in. But I asked uh, Eric to get this area loaded up. That was the little bottleneck that we created to see if we can use that for, for prison breakouts. Um, I think it was Handy that wrote in that suggested one last little... Uh, um, addition to this plan over here. I did add three more, which gives us one, two, three this direction and one, two, three this direction and then a whole bunch all the other directions. So no matter which way you go, there's three blocks. So I don't think any enemies are going to be interested in this anymore, any more than interested in, you know, this one because there's there's three in that pathway. But she was saying, how about putting a, a turret in there and then go ahead and build this. 
which will also which will not only deter any from going this direction to attack us, but deter any prisoners from going in here. That's an interesting idea, except for well, for right now at least, this issue right here, that full blast and full blast on all these, and we're just able to hold kind of neutral. We're still not that great on power over here. We are running these guys in this area just to you know just in case bugs hit we can't really put them in afterward but that's 350 watts so um you guys are starting here ah, interesting um so i'm hesitant to put another 350 watts in hmm well think about that if i absolutely have to i can i can break through three blocks and put them in and put them back fairly quickly but i think we'll wait until we've got more a more permanent power supply set up um who's over here we've got uh who does that question mark belong to i have no idea klaus you are building power conduit oh i see we put it all in here but we haven't uh installed it yet once this gets built then power should pop in here we have a lot done we just can't tell because it's uh so dark in there needs you're good for a while eric when you're done with that can you bring a bunch of marble over here if we have a bunch of marble. I did ask Bill to do a little bit of block cutting because he was crashing on me, but that's it, 40 marble. We need to do some, some block cutting. Um, but otherwise, Klaus, why don't you come on over and talk to Black, the slave trader. Otherwise, Shantiko is making meals, kind of bouncing around the list here. Sangria is doing some training because I had her planting all night all morning long from early in the morning you know, our, our combatants are on their way in and he's harvesting plants because she is still on uh, um, still on growing I want to get everything sown in here that I can as fast as I can um, Thomas Lov though is researching let's get our, our deep mining figured out otherwise Kathra is sowing an area and Michael is making kibble. Oh, making kibble, that's right. We set this up at the end of last episode. So through the night, Miss A.P. came over here. And it normally took her quite a while to make kibble up in here. I came back after having, you know, the three or four that were up doing different things and came back and she had a whole pile of piles over here. I mean, she just plas you know, plowed right through that. I was impressed at how fast we were making it. 300 kibble now we haven't seen 300 in a long time and that's not counting these because i don't have a stockpile in here so 320 there's 450 just like that that works so i don't see any point at this point of putting kibble back into any of these until the butchering is done yeah let's just nothing but butchering up here don't even need three of them anymore not really we'll we'll we'll, we'll play with that we'll see if there's any reason to destroy it or not but Klaus is going to go deal with that um, who have I not bumped into so far this episode have I got everybody Klaus Shantigo uh, everybody else is sleeping right now Kaya is sewing Faith is out here sewing in a different way and Manuela went off to the hospital <laughs> okay well another 944 silver coming in and a chance to sell off a few more animals good so they have to sell us a pig a real pig not a wild boar is there a difference in the game probably a wildness factor is different there's only seven percent here um looks like kind of the same diet uh one of the first animals domesticated by humans it is commonly raised for meat and leather and is easy to feed because it is because of its omnivorous diet okay we'll pass on that one you've also got real expensive pemmican and herbals and if i were to buy all of your pemmican would you starve before you got home kind of wonder about that anyway I, I wonder about these things we have another statue in there we have a shoddy we didn't get to the shoddy last time because we ran out of animals of money before we got to the end of the animals let's go through the animals wild boars We've got some piglets to get rid of if we want to. I would say let's want to. Let's make those go away. We'll keep the puppies because, oh, the comments last time. Wild boars, okay, we're going to keep all the trained ones. 
um, and none of them are old enough, I don't think. I'm guessing 12 is their lifespan. Um, we've got to keep Hachiko, just because we have to. <laughs> um, we've got one and one male, one female turkey. We've got a bowl, two, male, zero, two of them. Okay, we'll do that. That still leaves us in cattle a bull and a cow and we'll just let these guys go for a while and we'll figure out what happens as the the new batch of hay comes in okay so boomalopes we ended up with five of them right there what can we get rid of let's get rid of the nine-year-old okay that gets us back down to four and that gives one male and several females but four is kind of my minimum if we get a really bad infestation we may be sending boomalopes and three different directions and one of them may go down but never die and so never explode so we want to back up so I think four is our minimum for bug control otherwise I'm seeing dogs where are we at here 600 already wow so bull bull or cow keep those muffaloes right now I want to keep at least two let's keep just the two for now hmm well yeah, let's just keep the two for now. We'll let another batch of babies grow up in the summertime, and we'll, we'll pick through those to keep. We'll get rid of these two. Uh, I'm going to keep the two alpacas. Got a, two males. Still looking for a female alpaca. Um, we've got our slaves, our prisoners, which we're not going to turn into slaves because the debuff is huge, and it's, it feels like it lasts forever. If we sell that, no, nope, can't sell it this time either. All right, so what are we taking back? What is that? 944, almost a hundred. So that is a that's 212 for the muffalos. Let's get down into the 100 range. That's right here, boars. Okay, well, yeah, we're okay in kibble now, and we got lots of meat, and we still got lots of vegetables. Okay, we're gonna pull these guys back. Well, let's see. Let's take back this females. Let's actually sell both of the the females and take back the males. Yeah, we'll go that route right there. Less chance for more babies right now. So, I get that right? Minus two. I got that opposite, didn't I? Yeah, that's the original. So, we're getting rid of both of those. Nope. I reversed myself again. We're getting rid of the females. Okay, I got it right. Keeping the males, they're not going to make more babies. We have plenty of females over in here. One, two, three, four, five. So lots of chances for more babies. And there may be some pregnant ones in there right now. So that's almost the same. We're going to call that done. Not buying anything from them. And confirm. And we're going to have a mass exodus of lots of blue animals. Where are all of them? Hmm. They're probably not in the right grouping. I don't know. Oh, the... Where are the pigs? So the new pigs are down in here. No, they're in the kibble zone. Okay, anybody not in the right kibble zone? You can all um, haul now. Okay, that's good there. And no changes over there. All right, and any named? Nope, okay, we're good. So they're on their way in. There's an Emily, okay. So what's a named one? But you, juvenile female, okay. Eric failed, failed again. That is so odd. With that kind of a skill that he, that he's, you know, that it fails once in a while. Kind of surprised at that. And he's the only one doing that. I wonder if there is something in his traits that, that leads to that. I never see Klaus or, or David, uh, failing at at blocks building walls anymore unless Eric just happens to be the only one that that rolls the dice and gets those jobs um, Now I'm not seeing anything here that that uh, Seems to indicate that okay Um, We still have power over here. What am I lacking for power? I feel like we've been uh, on this for too long right here. Oh, we're not jumping. It's right here just waiting on that. Klaus, you're doing what right now? You're going to bed after you do that, 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 that. And your room is looking in good shape. Okay. You do those. Then we should see the prison light up. 
boom, boom, I'm hearing the electricals. There they go. Ugh, oh, and it died. <laughs> you are building a granite auto door. Your rest is not too bad. Right in there. Can you do this? And well, that is the closest steel? I guess it is. Um, That's blocks. Okay, we don't have steel down in here. Okay, well, I guess you go make that trip. Hopefully bring enough for all three of these. You may not be able to span that far. Um, yeah, okay. And then I need somebody else. David, you are using the telescope. Don't truly need it. Can you come over and, and pop that in for me? Dresser, cleaning rock. We're out of tile, or we're out of uh, marble. Okay, so I need someone who enjoys crafting. Bill, there you are. Consuming a fine meal, you just got up for the day. All right. You come down here and become a slave to this uh, this crafting table, this, this block cutting table. Kaya's already down here on her own. Oh, that's nice. Good, because boy, we need it. All right, so what are we up to besides still wondering when this raid is gonna come in? Hmm, would love to get that going. The prison is probably, we're, Oh, 1900, 7 p.m. We're losing lights in our in our uh, greenhouses. And I was worried that we had a power outage. Come, we have a power outage coming. Wow. Um, okay, we've seen the Accord Minio, and we've got the eclipse going one of the moons. This planet has orbited in front of the sun, and eclipse has begun. Yeah, we need that to end soon. Let's get you turned on. Uh, pause. Designate turn on. Atalia. Consuming a fine meal. Why don't you grab this for me first? I finally got that wooden wall popped out of there so that uh, we can make this path real easy. Now, animal-wise, we still have our herd of muffalo over here. Anything else change out here? No. And are these guys under roofs or are we um, damaging it? They're gone. They're all gone. Ha 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 wonder if the pigs did that or if Handy went off to get some projects finished that she's been just waiting to find a component for. David, you probably found a component for that granite door. Mm-hmm. Getting this taken care of little by little. We are done with all the smoothing. I think we are. I don't see any... Well, there's some cleaning right there. David, when you're done, can you clean that one for me? You are going to need food right after that. So this group has just decided to live over here in the river. Okay, they're, they're a river-dwelling uh, tribe, apparently. You guys are over here waiting for... Nope, Doctor Gotcha and Doctor Gotcha. Okay, then I'm going to wake you up. Take one over here to the good bed. So they didn't choose that automatically. They went to the closest, even though this has to rate us as a better choice. That's interesting. I would assume the hospital beds would fill before anything else. Which makes me wonder if I want to move these three hospital beds to this side of the room. Because all the battles are going to be up in that area. I would think so. How would you? How do you use these? Is there any way to, with prisoners to choose which bed to send them to? I kind of don't think there is. I can send, you know, um, Alicia to any bed that I want to. But I can't assign prisoners, and I can't tell, you know, Natalia where to capture and bring an enemy in, and which bed to drop them in. So there's no way to put the most important, the most damaged prisoner into a real hospital bed, is there? I don't think there is. But if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Otherwise, Eric, you are heading to bed, and after you clean that. Get that taken care of. Sea Star's room is looking fine. And David's room, I can't tell. we got to get more carpeting done in there. And Bill's. And we need to get some cotton planted. Don't actually have that done yet. We're going to use it all up in the rooms that we've got right now. Mm, can't help but feel we just need to dive into this and get it done. But, tell you what we could do. Eclipse is ending. Oh, good. Though it is the middle of the night. But that'll give us a chance to get a, a charge back into all three banks. Yeah. Let's try. Now what is with the... Uh, let me see here. Can I 
destroy floor. Floor, um, remove. Is there anything officially in here? There is. There is still something there. Ah, okay. I thought I had pulled all the floors out, but apparently I didn't. All right, so I want to put in a, uh, a cotton patch in here. You are, well, we'll figure you out later. Let's just delete you for now. So who over here can I grab on to? David, what are you doing right now? You're attempting to recruit Bill, a grill, okay? And pause a second so you guys will stop wiggling around there. So you're doing that one. Clean and pickles. Clean. Okay, so apparently that's the only one that needs to be talked to. Otherwise, David, your needs are fine. Why don't you come up here when you're done and remove. What was that? Cow is pregnant. Remove. Let's get all of these gone. Then I'm going to set up a, a grow zone in here for cotton. I'm thinking I did something wrong there. Right there. Remove. Oh, that's nine mind-numbing work. So, hmm. Let's make sure we keep all of these stocked. In fact, who best to do that? We've got wood over here now. What, Grandma, what you doing? You are cooking a fine meal, Miss P. You're on kibble duty. And how much better is Miss P getting? Now she, that's right, Miss P does get a passion out of cooking. Good, and Grandma does too. Yeah. Kind of feeling guilty having Mississippi doing this instead of mining, which she really wants to do. But she does get some thrill out of it. Needs her joy is is near is up there quite a bit. Though I don't get the sense that she gets a joy out of it until she's actually at the counter, right? Let's kind of watch that for a minute. Otherwise, maybe David would be the best one. I think so. You guys watch. Well, let's let's do this. I want to make sure. That actually, let's do this, that, that. So you stay in the area. I want to get all this wood done right as you get there. I'll have you do these, and you may go and pick up all that that wood first. Did you just skip a whole bunch? What you doing? You're cleaning one of my accidental cleaning ones there. Uh, oh, Miss a beat. You're that fast, and you're done. See, she's doing a good job with the kibble over here. 764. Whoa! I haven't seen numbers like that in forever. Okay, note to self, that was a winner. That worked well. Okay, well, we're back to David. Miss Peep, you can do whatever you want. You got it nailed. What are you guys doing? You guys are looking for tables. You got your pemmican with you, and you're just roaming in. There are no more tables, apparently, for these guys. But, uh, David, great. From there, please get that going, that going, and that going. Let's top everything off. We want every bit of every source of power that we can get tomorrow morning when the uh, the sun comes up and these all start to charge. Let's get all these banks refilled. Over here, how we doing? We're doing fine because we're geothermal over here. That's right. Okay. Um, Natalia, oh, yeah, we've been hauling these in. Oh, good. Can't wait till there's two stacks of 75 in there. Assuming these stack in 75s. Um... They're done eating in here. All of our cattle are going back over there again. <laughs> um, I'm only seeing Emily. What did we sell them? You are Mufflo 5. Ah, I see. Not named. You're Bull 2, Juvenile. Bull 3, Juvenile. And the pig that they brought with them. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Um, and there was a sculpture listed in... Where am I? Right there. Alicia's fully healed. And Grandma made portrait number 27. And also there was a... This guy has artwork too. Let's go back to that next. My grandma, what, have you, what craziness have you been up to? Beauty of 75, so did a great job on it. Art. This work bears a representation of six bok choys. A falcon sits off to one side while on while the work has a datist feeling and an unbalanced structure. Kind of generic. So not specific to any one person. Which means what? 
where in where is a common area that this really would do us some good eventually whatever the new uh, entrance entryway looks like I want to have a lot of artwork in there as they come to to see our colony for the first time they're gonna pass through our artwork otherwise hmm we probably could use some art in here oh we needed art in the kitchen let's do that though it was going to be right there and right here what are we gonna do now well for starters it can go right here at the end of this so install there maybe that'll be enough once this is all cleaned up um, David what have I got you working on you're refilling all the generators and you're in good shape that way and none of these well miss a peak can also warden but none of these need food because there is there are meals over there okay then how about David right yeah you pop in and get to work on sterile floors and see if we can get some of this done through the night otherwise I was working on what what were we talking about there 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 oh talking about art okay this one so Eric I asked him to go build a bunch of um, dressers and he managed to get one and he managed to just just do a great job on it he got excellent and artwork so Natalia's gaiety an engraving on this furniture portrays a hypnotist looking peaceable holding a nuke <laughs> yeah that's Eric the lower part of the image is dominated by a valley the image seems to express agony in our jail that's that's perfect you couldn't have nailed it better all right <laughs> now well we have construction unfinished in there 1.3 beauty there the dresser is I assume the 19 is the dresser so that's probably because of the beauty versus a say a dresser well we got a 19 over here and that was probably a really good one too or they, there's a six on that one so six beauty on on this dresser here 10 so depending on their rating and if there's artwork I'm guessing 20 that's the best one so far so if I were to pop into this one there's there definitely artwork there right there artwork and excellent yeah all right so there's that now that's right I was gonna have David do this David is he's indispensable right now see stars where are you at you are finishing off oh you're diving all the way into here okay um could I get you to finish off the right there the armory started loading these in at least uh, moving all of these into this area as well as a new uh, fire foam popper and moving the orbital trade beacon over so empty this out get this built and think once again about what to do here the armory idea was kind of neat and I guess if we'd left the, the fire foam popper in there yeah I'll let them finish building I was gonna say we don't have to build it now but we will because they're still gonna get mortars lobbed into this into this place so with the popper in there we could contain the fire problem we've had in this space but we still do all the damage to our weapons we have a lot of weapons now that if you watch over here they're they're in the red four out of 100 yeah we need we need someone who buys weapons soon so we can dump off some of these but um yeah we, we need to get the weapons into a different place nearby but not right in the heart the heat of the battle yeah, i think so if we have to send somebody for a sniper rifle or something that's not too far away it's doable um 35 ish minutes into this now no surprises going on here we did lose opportunity to uh, to sell to somebody that I didn't even see at the pop-up come up to tell me that they were in the area so I don't know when that happened you know I'm guessing between episodes I uh, didn't definitely didn't see it while I was editing anything but I didn't expect it there what are you doing consuming strawberries you've you've got that's theirs is it ours it's not of the Accord Mignon. So their animals are eating our strawberries right now. Mm. Oh, well, it was our animal. So one last little treat from home. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyway, Sea Star is going to do that. Let's run backwards through here. Kaya, 
you are just starting your day. Consuming a fine meal. Um, Alicia, playing horseshoes. David, you are doing that job there. Can you tear this down? Oh, you're going to be using it. Okay. Then Alicia, when you're done with that, can you tear this down? Thank you. That works. And sea stars. Over here, heading up to there. Bill, you weren't... You didn't have any carpentry or construction. No. Okay. Sea stars does, but she's going off the other end over there. And you guys are just... Actually, we need to kind of stop you. Well, yeah. Hmm. How should we deal with that? Let's grab another zone. Um, zone and stockpile. Do all of that. And grab this one right here. Copy. And paste it into there. There we go. Paste. So that should now, at low priority, say that there is... Where am I at? A kibble in that space, which means we've now got not we now got a thousand, which finally turns her off. Okay, so she'll be done. Becca, I can reset her before you. Well, you're you're gonna haul that meat in there anyway. May as well. And then, Grandma, when you're done, can you you can't haul to that space? It is so frustrating. I can't get them to ring meat over there. Hmm. Did figure out my problem last time though. I. I thought I was clicking on this, saying I wanted it to be a critical priority, and I was actually sitting on this one. That didn't work. But, whoa. David did a good job of bringing a lot of supplies over. What's What did he bring? He brought all oh, the steel to everything. Now we got to bring a whole gob of silver. Silver around here is in, in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Psychic drone. No. Oh, who's it going to be? The male gender. Hmm. Who were the ones that were gonna die from that? We got rid of the the hi hypersensitive, the psychically hypersensitive one that was in here at one time. That was important. We got rid of that. But how are you guys, as far as psychic drones? We don't want anybody going berserk in our prison. Um, character, fine, and fine. And these are all kind of negatives already. Klomster might have an issue here. He just might. Hmm. Prisoner, you're at 80%. Let's think about Klomster. I mean, I was willing to let him in because I desperately needed male characters. But I've called off 10 now. And other than Oath and Radar that, that I know of, that have, been, have left comments, you know, not, not too long ago, and gnarly about 20 episodes ago, um, then I've got uh, Daniel and, and Cyprian that have that are more recent. I don't have a lot of, of uh, subscribers on my list that have answered back. So we may actually be getting close to the end of our list, maybe another five or six. So we don't have to keep Klompster. The next raid will probably bring in a few more males. And Klompster, character, I was willing to, to force ourselves to handle this, but we got a negative 6 on top of a 8% a, a mental break threshold plus another 8%. So six, you know, 16 and... and hmm. I'm kind of hesitant now. I really am. I'm the, the 11 was interesting really want some more shooters I think I'm gonna make a judgment call on that one and just say goodbye to Klomster pickles and grill look interesting and I'm sure we've got a real raid coming in soon so I'm going to do that Klomster it's been nice knowing you but why don't you take all of your emotional problems to uh, back to the uh, the saber donkeys and and uh, let them them deal with you I could just see this event here being the event that sets you off with so many negatives. You're not psychically sensitive, but you've already got all these other things. So you're going to have another negative 15 on top of it. Whoa. Look at that. Your forecast is all the way down there. Even though you do have the plus 25 on you. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't think I want to deal with that. Kyle, you're going to attempt to recruit. How about instead you release prisoner? Let's get that one going. Maybe Klaus can attempt to recruit. 
Let's do that. Klaus, you're playing horseshoes. You don't, tr well, you do kind of need it, but let's get you to, see, I've noticed that before. Maybe if I let us reset. But Klaus, right click. Okay, now I can. Now I can have you chat with Grill. Okay. There have been other times when Kaya or David or somebody was going to, and I said, no, you go off to do something else. Let's let Kyle do, uh, Klaus do it. And then waited and waited, and I could never get it to trigger to let me let me uh, send him in there. But with that, how bad off are we? Let's, I, I can let it run. Needs, negative 15. Rabbit, negative 15. Shantigo, negative 8 only. So he's got something that, that helps him there. Klaus, negative 15. Michael, negative 8. Medium. So it's not affecting them all the same way. Character, depressive, psychically dull. Ah, that helps a lot. Okay. Um, Eric, negative 15. David, negative 15. Grandma, Bill. Okay, and that's it. So we're going to be ending this episode before long. Maybe after the episode, I'll take a good look at, you know, 10 minutes worth of them living through that, that psychic drone. And then we'll see where our three psychic foil helmets need best to go. So I, unfortunately I don't have enough to really satisfy everything, but got enough to, uh, to help the, the three worst ones, whoever that turned out to be. Uh, you are doing that. This chair is so close to being done. David, need. Boy, we're going low on a lot of them. You're getting joy on the, on the construction, though. Okay. How many did you bring silver to? I mean, did you bring it for the whole... You brought it for the whole room. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. You just have a ball. We're going to finally get that kitchen floor done. Uh, rabbit needs... You're hurting, but the food's going to take care of that. Who's really hurting right now? You're fine. Klaus is going to be great. Uh, rabbit, you're going to be fine with the meal. Um, Michael, you've got that little boost there. You're good. Eric, you're hurting big time, but you need food. You are consuming a simple meal. Uh-uh. Where are you at? You are because... Nope, you're going there, and then you're going to grab one of these helmets. Can I do that here? I can force wear a 72%. You're... Oh, I should hold the, uh, the shift when I do that. Try that again. There. And... There. That'll do you. And... David, you're kind of hurting too. Eric is, but we're going to solve that one. So David and then Bill is hurting often anyway. And you... Well, Klaus failed while constructing a granite block wall. Eric, your reputation has been restored. It's just hard work to do, apparently. Um, Bill... Let's get one of these on you just right off the bat. And I lost the one that I almost had him put on. Let's double. We have four of them now. Oh, okay. That's good to see. And Bill, jump in that one. And the other two will wait and see who starts to break. Otherwise, what else should get done before we're finished? Klaus is getting that door done. Great. Um... I get these beds built, then I'll do the, the big swap out. Handy's already asleep. Handy is already asleep. Okay. Klaus, you hate to assign you. I want you to get the trigger to go and talk to these guys when it's needed. Yeah, I think so. Um, I could use somebody, though, to clean up this prison before these two decide to break on me. Um, Natalia doesn't clean. Sangria training Harvey. You're kind of the only one besides Klaus down in this area. Let's send you down in here. Let's have you clean up there, and then... That's good enough. You'll take care of it all. Oh, that was a big pause. Bad pause! Siege! Where? And who's outside? Who is outside? The siege is coming in from there. Sea Stars did not go out and do any mining on her own. Neither did Alicia or Miss Pete. Good. Sea Stars is safely in here. Alicia's out there planting. Cathra. Those guys are going to light all of these on fire, aren't they? 
<laughs> well, the thought of me going through and doing a bunch of stuff between episodes just went away. Because I need to immediately get people on those mortars and just start lobbing them over here. Immediately. See, we can't uh, break this thing like we did last time before they even got their, uh, their, their mortars built. Otherwise, mm, 8 in the morning. I don't remember a lot of them sleeping because the um, eclipse really messes up with their, their sleep schedules. And they'll, they'll get up at 3 in the morning instead of 8 in the morning or whatever. Um, okay. Well, I guess this is where we start next time. I'll go through and in between episodes and figure out where everybody is, get them off to, to uh, get meals, get three of them on the mortars, get them started, and <laughs> next time we get to have some fun. But let's peek real quick who these are. These are the saber donkeys. So apparently we're still waiting for the uh, uh, the Irithatna. Boy, they've got a weird name. Right in there, Irithatna's People's Federation. Irithatna. Yeah, I haven't been mispronouncing that all this time. Um, maybe they're still traveling, and they'll be here to visit us just as these guys get defeated. Back-to-back -back attacks. Yeah, that's RimWorld. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.